With high speeds, flying pucks, and body checking, plus the occasional fight, hockey is a dangerous yet thrilling sport. Players know these dangers when they step out onto the ice, but a different kind of danger lurks outside the rink. In Brown vs. Wolf, we'll explore the factual complexities of constructive fraud when a hockey player seemingly placed his trust in the wrong agent. Professional hockey player Andy Brown was offered a National Hockey League contract playing for the Pittsburgh Penguins for the 1973-1974 season. Brown hired Bob Wolf, a sports attorney and agent, to negotiate the contract. After a successful year, Brown again hired Wolf to negotiate his contract for the following season. At this time, Wolf assured Brown that he could get him a better offer from the Indianapolis Racers, a new hockey team in a newly formed league. Wolf allegedly told Brown that the Racers' contract would be a long term, no cut contract, with a deferred compensation feature. Due to Wolf's assertions, and as fearless as ever, Brown rejected the Penguins' offer of a two year contract and signed a five year contract with the Racers. Unfortunately, the Racers soon began having financial difficulties. Consequently, Wolf had to renegotiate Brown's salary on multiple occasions. At the same time, Wolf worked to get his own fee from the racers. Wolf's negotiations for Brown resulted in salary reductions and lost benefits. Ultimately, the racers defaulted on salary payments to Brown. In contrast, Wolf was able to receive his full fee. Brown sued Wolf for constructive fraud and breach of fiduciary duty in the United States District Court for the Southern District of Indiana. Brown alleged that Wolf made several material misrepresentations that Brown relied on regarding the racer's contract. Wolf argued that Brown didn't present evidence to support his constructive fraud allegations and moved for summary judgment on the issue.